Hey everybody, happy Be Free Friday. Amber here. I'm coming to you from First Baptist Church of Cornelia. You can probably hear the train in the background going by my office. Um, so this week, this Friday, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's been going on in my life recently. Um, I have been having a really weird and difficult time with some stuff at work. And it's nothing um, earth shattering or anything like that. But just to give you some context, uh, the ministry that I have inherited um, is really in its infancy. It, it hasn't really existed before I got here. So um, it's, a, it's a position that was created. Um, I'm the first one to hold this position. It's that kind of thing. So um, I've been giving the, given the task to really develop something brand new. Uh, from scratch, which is awesome, and it's really exciting and empowering um, to be given that opportunity. Um, but it's also really hard. I, I love envisioning where God is going to take us uh, next, and I love seeing children that are really excited to come to church. Um, but honestly, building something from scratch is really hard. Um, I think of it kind of like baking from scratch which I don't ever do because I'm not really good at baking. Um, but I do know that baking from scratch means that you start out with some raw materials, um, flour and sugar and eggs and whatever else goes into baking. Uh, you don't start out with something pretty when you start. Um, you start out with ingredients all separately, um, and it doesn't resemble anything like what it turns out to be. And um, I do know that when you start, um, you start with mixing things. I know at least that much. And mixing ingredients can seem pretty mundane and boring and not really look like you're accomplishing very much. Um, but you have to do it. You can't You can't make a cake without mixing the ingredients. Um and it has to be done in order, one thing at a time, and that can be really slow. And honestly, that's kind of where I feel like I'm at right now uh, with my ministry. Um, I've spent the last few months doing things like cleaning out closets, which uh, is really boring, honestly. Um, cleaning out like trash that was in one closet and wiping it down and really cleaning it so that I can add um, new stuff to the closet which is not super fun or rewarding. Um, and there were <laughs> a few days that I came home and told Andy, like, I'm a glorified janitor because I have literally spent eight hours cleaning out a closet. Um, but still, like, every day I'd go into the closet and I'd clean the closet and make space for the new things that were going in the closet. Um, it's just stirring ingredients, honestly. Like, it's not exciting or fun. It's not, uh, like, life-changing. I'm not, I'm not seeing all of these really exciting things happening. It's nothing that's, uh, no, no instant gratification out of the things that I've been doing the last, like, month, really. Um, but last month, uh, at the end of last month, something really, um, incredible happened. Um, and I, I, it's really like too much to go into like a really short video. So I'll just kind of give you a gist of what happened. Um, me cleaning out the closets and fixing up our children's space um, kind of created a chain reaction of events in the lives of dozens of people. Um, without going into all the details, there was a move of the Holy Spirit that happened in the lives of some people um, who haven't seen something like that in years. And obviously it didn't have everything to do with the closets being cleaned out. Um, but this was a cake that God had been baking for years. And uh, I had no way of knowing that. All I knew was that I had to be obedient and lay the foundation of this ministry, mix the ingredients, and clean out these closets. And um, God totally took it to a level that I had no idea um, what could come out of something like that. In my mind, all I was doing was showing up and, and cleaning out closets. But what I didn't know was that in the background, behind the scenes, God was doing something amazing in people's lives and had been building up to it for years. And me cleaning out 
a closet uh, was the catalyst of some big change in the hearts and lives of a lot of people. And so what I'd like to tell you today is that um, what you're doing may seem minute and in- insignificant. Um, maybe it's grocery shopping or cleaning or making a phone call or writing a letter. Um, to you, it may seem like the smallest, um, most monotonous thing a person could do. Um But God lives in the mundane. God operates in the ordinary. And God wants to take your obedience far beyond anything that you could imagine. Um, But to do that, you have to be willing to perform even the most ordinary of tasks with excellence, knowing that he will multiply your efforts. Um, Because that's what he does. He's working in whatever it is that you're you're doing. And it it may seem like nothing. It may seem so boring. And you may ask yourself, why am I doing this? Um, But if it's something God has called you to do, and you're being obedient in that, trust that he is going to bring about fruit in ways that you can't even imagine. Um, So I hope that that is encouraging for you today. I hope that you have an awesome week. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.